Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I have a review of the Super Golden Marker. These are an inexpensive set of acrylic paint markers that are metallic, and I thought they'd be kind of fun to showcase as close to the holidays, because it's fun to do like ornaments with these, and uh, Christmas gift tags and gift wrappings and stuff. I thought it'd be kind of fun to share. Um, these are available on Amazon from the company Light Wish. They are also the same company that distributes Paul Rubens products for the American market. And um, let's take a look at them. They did send me this to review, so I thank them very much. And we're gonna have a peek. I did use them on the project I did here for my Michaels class. I used over some accents and they worked out very well. And some of these have been open for over a month and other ones I'm just, I just opened now. And we're gonna start by opening one together. I did leave this one unprimed and unopened just so you can see how long it takes to get one going. And each of them came with a thin plastic, um, like kind of cellophane wrapper to keep it, I guess, from drying out probably, or from like leaking if something did happen to it. They remind me a lot, like the nibs remind me a lot of like Posca pens. So once you open it up, you want to give it a good shake. There's a ball bearing in there that's going to mix the ink around. These sell for $16.99 for a pack of 12. And currently there's a 6% coupon on them and I don't know when this goes to air what will be if there'll be a deal or not but right now that's a deal oh I did want to show you something I discovered that you can unscrew the top here so I think you could actually refill these with your own acrylic paints yeah you could definitely pop that out Let's see if I can do it without making a mess I have a feeling I'm going to make a mess yeah I could that that would come out I would probably use like a I would probably need to use something like a butter knife or a, do I have a butter knife here? I usually do because I use them for, maybe this. That's not gonna work. A paint, a paint knife or a butter knife or something. I don't have one within reach, sadly, but yeah, that would pop out and you'd be able to refill that, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let me use my teeth. Oh, oh yeah, and I think I probably just got paint on my face. Hopefully not on my shirt because I'm borrowing a shirt for my daughter. <laughs> oh no. I think I got paint on my face. Um, but yeah, you could take that out and you could fill it with your own ink, which would be nice once it once it uses up. So it's not sold to be refillable, but a lot of things are refillable if you're brave enough. If you're brave enough, I'm gonna really have to make sure I didn't get any paint on this shirt. <laughs> okay, so once you've got it, once you've got it open. Oh no, what did I do? Oh, did I break it? Shoot. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh no, I just broke it, okay. Oh no. This is a awful review. Oh my goodness, did I break the pen? Okay guys, we might have to, oh no. You know what, I think I broke the pen. I bet I lost a part of this pen. Oh my gosh, did I? Yes, I did, <laughs> right there. Okay, so what I would say is don't do this until after you've already used up the ink because, <laughs> let's see, things, things went terribly wrong. Okay, we're gonna fix it together. I wish I had a palette knife. How do I not have a palette knife within reach? I have a, f oh, here we go, I do have a palette knife in reach. I forgot I moved that. I moved that over there. All right, we're gonna fix this, I hope. My goodness gracious, can you believe this? Okay. <laughs> All right, these brands are gonna think twice before they send me <laughs> another product. Oh, golly, okay. Well, and that's how you take apart this particular pen. Not that you probably will want to, but look at that, we got it apart, we got it back together again. So then you just wanna bounce it and let the ink start flowing. And there we go. All right, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was, uh, that was real life, friends, that was real life. All right, so let's take a look at what these look like. I showed you some finished artwork I did with them. All right, here's our sketchy pen that I've messed up, but it's fine. Look at that on black paper. 
Very smooth writing. We'll do all of our colors here. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Of course, you can use these on, on light colored paper, paper if you want to as well. The nibs on these are hard plastic 0.7 millimeter nib, very much like an ultra fine Posca pen. The colors are nice and opaque. They are waterproof. And like if you wanted to use these to write on glass, like right on like a wine glass or something, you would have to um, use alcohol to remove them later. They're not going to come off with water. But I wouldn't think they were going to be like permanent permanent. So um, like if you put them in the dishwasher, I'm sure they would come undone. They're going to give you a little bit wider and more opaque of a line than a gel pen. A little bit thicker than, say, like a Uniball Signo broad gel pen. The hard plastic tip should be pretty resilient. You shouldn't have any issues with, you won't have any issues with fraying. They're probably a little too fine to do like rock paint painting, unless it's just for like the, um, unless it's just for like the, you know, final, final details. Because, I mean, you can see how big the barrels are. There's only going to be so much ink in there, but as we have demonstrated, you can take it apart and you can, uh, you can re refill it with like a, a pipette or an eyedropper or something. That's a pretty color. So if you need some metallic markers, I think these are a good bet. If you these would be cute for addressing um, addressing like cards if you did them on black paper. Especially the silver. Look how opaque that silver is. Let me give that a quick little shake. There we go. Is that all 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's all 12. I think they look great and they're easy to use. Um, if they stop working, just give them a good shake, pump them a couple times on a scrap of paper, and then you're going to have your pens all ready to go. You can see how reflective and metallic they are there. And um, you can see there is a part of like a little watercolor painting, how I used it on there just for some highlights. Works great. They do. They are as advertised. They work out to be a dollar and forty-two cents per marker. If that sounds like a fair price to you, then I will link to them in the video description. It is an affiliate link, so if you purchase it, I do earn a small commission on it. But obviously, don't feel compelled to buy anything unless you absolutely need that product. Um, yeah, that's it. I, I think it. I, I think it does what it needs to do. It's great for a little bit of accent, and uh, yeah, that's all. All I got to say about it. Much cheaper than. Um, and then some brands you pick up in stores, cheaper than Posca's, and they seem to work just as well as like a fine, extra fine tip Posca, in my opinion. Um, and I like the fact that you could take it apart and you could clean it out or you could put more ink in there if you wanted to. You could use what I probably use. I'd recommend using like the, the fluid acrylic inks that come in like the eyedroppers, like um, F&W makes them, Dr. P.H. Martins makes them, you know, they come in little eyedropper bottles. They would be really easy to refill with one of those. I've used those to refill my Posca pens too, so um, I know that works. So something like that would be a good uh, would be a good option if you have them on hand. Those are kind of expensive inks, so I don't know if that makes economical sense, but if you already have that product and you have this product, then hey, why not? Anyway, little review for you today. I hope you found it useful. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye!